In recent years, Sweden has seen an influx of migration from EU members of Roma origin, who are finding themselves begging on Swedish streets. Begging in Sweden will explore the complexities of this transnational livelihood migration, which has met with challenges for both those who are in a vulnerable position begging on the streets, and Swedish society itself, for whom this is a new phenomenon. It will ask what legal and social measures are in place for this new community, and how this has led to a national debate dividing the country. In the northern part of Europe, at least, you can see that the act of begging is becoming much more of a transnational phenomena, but of course also the transnationalization of begging as a social problem. It's directly connected with the incorporation of uh, Romania and Bulgaria into the uh, European Union and the freedom of movement that the citizens now, uh, the citizens of these two countries now enjoy. Begging is not criminalized in Sweden, so begging is uh, is a licit activity that anybody can engage, citizen of this country or, or foreigners, uh, no distinction in that sense. And in the last two or three years they have started coming here to Sweden. Uh, from what I know they've been in other parts of Europe before like uh, Spain and France, but the conditions there have become more and more hard. Maybe they were working, uh, looking for jobs there and there they could get some seasonal work. Here that doesn't work, so they end up begging in spite of the fact that they hate it. So the begging from, was from the beginning not, as far as we can see, the main aim of their, 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 um, uh, their trip. And here I think it's partially a problem of poverty in the country of Romania, um, but it's also a problem of discrimination against um, a certain ethnic group. Romans. In many countries, um, there's, a, there's a form of racism against particularly the gypsy population, and it's a structural racism. And you can also see that Sweden is becoming more divided. Either you're for or you're against. You're not neutral anymore, which you were at that some point. Today you are for or against. And so this group of people, they beg because they find no other way of doing it. And, and I'm sure they're not doing it for fun. It's their, the last solution that they see. So they have to do this to get some money so they can feed their children or their, their younger brothers or sisters. Some have homes that they need to sustain. Otherwise the family will go, uh, go on living on the street. And some people don't have homes and they need to collect money to build homes. We have to help. Uh, and do our very best to change the system and also to handle them with dignity here.